All right, so we got this Sega portable game player thing here. Uh, and I'm going to try to do the SD card thing. So I have a SD card here, well, micro SD and a SD adapter, um, SanDisk 8 gig. Uh, the only trick, I guess, is you got to make a, create a uh, game, a folder that says game on it. Uh, then you put the ROMs. I'm assuming uncompressed. I didn't try. Uh, well, I, I just left them uncompressed or whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm assuming it doesn't do the zip filed ones or whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna turn this. Well, pop this thing in here and uh, turn it on and see what we can do. I also put in. Uh, I just put in a few games uh, that I have. So. But I also put in some 32X games and some Sega Master System games, which it doesn't say it supports, but uh, maybe it does. I don't know. So it says searching for games. So the 32X game shows up. This is the Sega Master System Rambo. Uh, I got three different versions of Robocop versus Terminator. So I, I don't know which one's which, but uh, no, one's like the Japanese, one's the uh, European, and one's the regular American one. Time Killers, um, got a, uh, that's the USA, Duke Nukem, which is like a Brazilian, I guess, hacked ROM or something, so I want to see if it plays that and out of this world. So let's try Colibri, which is the 32X game, which I don't know, could load, you never know. So loading's not too bad, actually. I expected uh, worse for some reason. That doesn't look like it's loading. So, maybe start. No. And then maybe menu. Back to the menu. Okay, cool. So, 32X does not work. Uh, which, you're not really missing out on too much here. Oh, okay. So, I could go back and forth instead of going all the way to 9. That's cool. Start. Searching for games. Kind of annoying that it keeps doing that. Rambo First Blood. This is the Sega Master System. Looks like it loaded immediately. This might play. Maybe not. Okay. Menu. Exit out of here. Oh, that's not working. So just switch it off. Back on. All right, let's try. Uh, I'm not sure which Robocop is which here, but let's go with uh, the top one. And loading isn't too bad. Oh, I think it. Peel this shit off here. Oh, that's awesome. This looks like it gets a lot of fingerprints, which actually I should have left this off. It's kind of like a screen protector, but I take pretty good care of my shit anyway, so. This loads up pretty well, as you can see. The screen looks a lot clearer without that thing on it. That looks like it loaded. But let's try the middle one. I'm not sure what the difference is even between the different regions of Robocop, so this might be all for nothing. Actually, you know what? Let's just try this Duke Nukem because that's a Brazil, Brazilian cartridge. Or, yeah, hacked ROM, I guess, if you want to call it that. This one's taking a little bit longer to load. But it loaded. So that's all right. So you could play hacked ROMs. So that means you could play like whatever homebrew um, shit that other people have made or just hacked, you know, games. This is pretty cool. Duke Nukem for Sega Genesis. See, I miss this about old games. You could just fucking press start. You don't have to wait through no long ass um 
intro movie. I've never actually played this game. It's whatever. Anyway, so that works. So these are ROMs, like I said, from my collection. So that's pretty cool that you can actually probably put your entire library <coughs> if you have it uh, on here. Uh, let's try another one of these Robocops, I guess. Do this middle one. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Japanese Robocop has you know, Japanese text on it or something. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but <coughs> if they all work, uh, then that means uh, that all ROMs work. So any region of game uh, works with this system, which is pretty cool. So if you like Japanese games, you know what I'm saying? You could play those. And it's the same as that game. All right, let's try the other one. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um <clears throat> So let's try that final RoboCop. So either way, uh, we played every region. So like I said, if you got ROMs that you specifically want to play from a different region, uh, you don't have to worry about it, which is actually pretty cool because uh, <clears throat> like on the home console, if you have a European or PAL ROM, the screen is all fucked up because PAL uses a different like Hertz system, I guess, for their... Uh, TVs. So this actually shows up well. No issues with weird video. Okay, so that's that. They all work. Every region works. Uh, no 32x, no Sega Master System, which, whatever. It's supposed to be a Sega Genesis uh, thing. Anyways, not the other two. But I thought maybe, just maybe, uh, they would work. I forget what the hell I picked. Oh, out of this row, huh? So, yeah, I have the volume down. So, it's not. This is terrible. So, if you leave it about here, it's not as bad. Whatever. Okay. What the hell did I do here? I don't know any codes for this. back try that again I don't like that it searches for games all the time it should know already or like build a little database of what you got but I guess if you keep adding new shit it's gonna have to do that it's a little slow you know like I, I got everdrive cards in there pretty fast but they're running on the original hardware too I'll just chalk that up to me being an idiot and I don't know how to play that game. But uh, that's it. I mean, it, it works with ROMs and it's got the 40 built in Sega Genesis games. It's got the 40 bullshit games, which are all down here, which at least that's cool that they uh, segregate them. You know what I mean? Because you're probably not going to play these garbage ass games. But I guess we could try one of these. Um, whatever it looks like it would be something like me, Mr. Balls. Let's try that. So you gotta press start to uh, <clears throat> start the game. My elbows are hurting. Mr. Balls. Kind of like Mr. Mad. With big balls. Random. Oh shit. That's my jam. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Should have read the instructions, I guess. But it works. That's the point. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care about that game. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm assuming all these games work. I'm not going to sit here and try them all. It would make for a very long video. But the ROMs work and the built-in ones work. So ones you could add. And this shit gets a lot of prints on it. Not bad. 
sounds like 16-bit sound. I remember when I first got Genesis back in the day, this was a game that came with it. Not Sonic. Not a jump. And, uh... I'm not too good at this. I didn't play too much of it. I, I, I really wanted the Sonic game, but I don't, I don't think it was out at the time, but I, I liked it. Alright, so this works, everything works, it's cool, it's not bad, good deal. Uh, I got it as a gift, so I didn't spend any money on it, so that's cool too. But, um, yeah, uh, Sega Genesis Portal, portable player, little handheld, very light, sound sucks. Uh, I'm assuming the headphone jack might, might make it sound the way it's intended to sound, hopefully, I don't know. Emulation's not 100% accurate, so if it is emulation, which I'm assuming it is, uh, the sound might be kind of different from what you expect it to be. But that's about it. I'm going to wrap this shit up here. Uh, it's cool. Uh, you know, not bad. I like it. Cool little gift. But uh, that that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know what I mean? Uh, leave a comment if you feel like it, whatever. Uh, that's it. All right. Thanks for watching.